I've played a lot of Bloodborne on this channel, but as the saying goes, you can never have too much of a good thing. So today, I revisited the game to try and beat it deathless. This was no easy challenge and took many failed attempts, but I somehow managed to pull it off, and this is how it went. Okay, we are Bloodborning. Okay, right off the bat, we've got strong enemies and weak man. I'm not powerful yet. I hear you creeping up on me. Yep, do your thing, point at me, whatever you whatever you gotta do. The parries are looking good so far today. This gives me hope. A little bit of confidence. Okay, off to a good start. You gotta be careful not to pull all of these enemies at once, or this could be a very quick death. No, bad dog. Bad dog. Okay. Oh. Yeah, toss that guy to the side. That's all good. It definitely feels like I need to upgrade my weapon or something, though. My damage is not super high. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Hi, doggy. Yep, yep. Bark, bark, bark. All right. Goodbye. Oh, there's two. I mean, why would there ever just be one, right? That'd be too easy. What boss is next? Probably Blood Star Beast. Even though it's optional, I kind of feel like I should do it. I'm probably going to die and have to start all over. But you know what? That is a risk that I probably shouldn't take. Use blood cocktail to cheese it. Throw to attract beasts. I mean, I vaguely know how that works, but not really. It goes to the cocktail and ignores you. I mean, I'll give it a try. All right. Meh. You smell that? Doesn't that smell good? Oh God, okay. Meh. Dude's tweaking. Look, over there. Oh, that missed. That missed again. Wow. That's sad. Yeah, hate to see it. Okay. A lot of micromanaging to do here. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the fuck? I'm dead. Great. Well... That wasn't worth it. I'm probably gonna die and have to start all over. And now I have to restart. Oh, man. Oh, God. All the way back. Oh, time to suffer through the early game again. I feel like I'm kind of flying through this right now. We're going at record pace here. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, please. <laughs> no. I was doing so good. And then you get cornered and. I have to kill the ads to get blood echoes, or if I should just run past everything, but then I don't have any levels, and then I will, it'll eventually catch up to me. Look at all these characters I've gone through. Mike, that's my original guy. Then we've got George, Crumb, Peebler, Bronk, Brick, Ethan probably, Anti-Gascone, and Grunglegorp, all dead. Cannot create any more profiles. Oh, that's just insult to injury. <laughs> huh? Name him Cheese. All right, bet. I'm gonna name him Parmesan cheese okay good motion gesture love that don't sit down no parmesan cheese no jeez slowly come on i know you can see me oh god okay the other one has randomly drawn aggro what am i doing oh ah! You know, maybe this just isn't meant to be. Attempt number 10. It's always been about attempt number 10. Nah, I live on this street. It's always nice to see home. <laughs> it's like how in the Spider-Man games, they made like a one-to-one, -one, like accurate representation of New York City. That's what Bloodborne did with London. People can actually find their own houses in Bloodborne. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you gonna do something? Oh, you just had to wait for me, huh? I see you, bricked up. What do you mean by that? Werewolves are on the stairs, I repeat. Their werewolves are on the stairs. <laughs> there we go. This is what it's all about right here. Ow. I'm gonna switch over to the saw spear, I think, because that's better. Anyone happen to know if that one's the saw spear or if this one is? We'll take a gamble. Rats! Eh, there's a fucking lot of them. Okay, that one jumped off. Howdy, fellas. Don't mind me. That one's tweaking. 
Yep, don't mind me at all. I'm just a little guy. On guard! Get the hunter garb, I will. Give me a minute. Gotta deal with this piggy first. Come here. I know you're faster than that. Oh god, oh. Jump scare. I know it has to be done. I'm sorry, piggy. God, that is like the most graphic thing. <laughs> About to go whole hog. Okay, well, I got the music box. Now I can level into some skill and HP. Can I upgrade my weapon at all? I can. Plus two. That ain't bad. I don't have any blood gems yet, but we'll get that after Gasco. There's not really much left to do now, except go fight him. I'm as prepped as I can be. Boss time. We got this. I'm so ready. I lied. I lied so badly. There we go. Well, that was just about the best Gascoon fight I've had, honestly. GG. That was clean. Yeesh. Okay. That's all it takes. Now, if I could do that for the Blood Starved Beast, that would be fantastic. Gotta get used to the Saw Spear. It's a bit slow when it's transformed. I figured I would farm this area a bit before beelining it to the Blood Starved Beast. Might be able to get a few more upgrades, a few more levels a bit more prepared overall. Sounds kind of smart if you ask me. Maybe too smart for my blood, but like still smart regardless, you know. Okay, let's buy some more levels. And actually, let's do the weapon upgrades first. Can probably go up a few times. That one's not bad. Okay, those gems are not good, but they're not terrible. No, you don't need to shoot at me. I'm just a little guy. I didn't even do anything. We're gonna use Alfred. We're gonna use blood cocktails. We're gonna use beast blood pellets. We're gonna use fire paper. And then surely Floppy will go down. I might actually use some Molotovs while Alfred has aggro. All right, the stakes are high. We are going to be cooking not rare, not medium rare, not medium, not medium well. We are going to be doing well done here because what other choice do I have? All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just try and throw like 10 cocktails at it. I don't know how good their damage is, but Alfred can tank for a bit. Well, I'll try throwing a blood cocktail at the floor first. Okay, here we go. Come here, floppy. Wait for it. Okay. Ooh, damage isn't terrible. I mean, it's free damage from afar. I'll take it. Oh, oh, Alfred with the visceral. That ain't bad, my boy. All right, at this point, I'm gonna try and blood cocktail again. It seemed to work. Yep, yep, yep. Get out of here, Floppy. Get out of here! Well, that was hitless. We'll take those. Did I use a summon and blood cocktails? Absolutely. But was it hitless? Yes, sir. GG. Glad that's over. Mozzarella balls for the win. Yes. Okay. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Welcome. You can get the Blade of Mercy now. Is this true? Go talk to Eileen. Okay. Eileen and Henrik should be down here, right? This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Oh, God. Jump scare. Where's Eileen at? There she is. I'll just let the two of them fight. No problem. Eileen doesn't have a health bar though, so how am I supposed to know when she's low? I mean, she's taking some hits. I'm hitting both of them at the same time right now. Well, that worked. Did I feel bad about it? A little, but I got it. Yeah, I'm sure they're expensive. 40k. Yeah. All right. I'll earn them legitimately through hard work. How is the uh, Amelia going to go? Personally, not a big fan of this boss. She's pretty painful. All right. This is make or break right here. Just like every boss in this run. But this one's kind of important. Should I use the summon? I'm not against it. I think this one can join me. Let's get her done. I'm glad I got that visceral off. 
That's why Amelia is scary. She can combo you very quickly. And the camera in this fight? Oh, don't even get me started. That should do it. Bop. All right, we cooked her. That's three bosses down, chat. We're making real progress now. Oh, wow. Wait, that's versus beasts? Okay, I definitely want that on for Cleric Beast. That'll be great. Okay, Cleric Beast is kind of do or die, but it is the first boss of the game, so it shouldn't be that hard. All right, let's get her done. Cleric Beast. Hello. All right, that was no contest. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. They weren't lying when they said prey slaughtered, bro. He really was a prey animal. Jeez, I was over prepped for that. Better to have something like that happen than to like die to him though. So I'll take it. That was like a 10 second fight. <laughs> I made you my bitch. Okay, I've officially done every boss up to this point, including the optional ones. So that's pretty cool. After destroying the cleric beast, I got on the next day and headed over to the Witches of Hemwick to get myself the Rune Workshop tool. From what I remember, the witches are fairly easy. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, good. Scary porcupine. There we go. You see that little target lock switch? That was pro strats over here. That's right. Give me my health back. Oh, why? No, thank you. I don't want any Molotovs. Oof, got hit like whack-a-mole, bro. Big old mallet to the head. I should probably parry this guy. What is happening? Holy shit, my character is rolling into him. That was terrifying. And a near-death experience. Why is there a note right there? Why did they make this so risky? Yeesh, a little scary walking up to that edge. One little misinput and I could have rolled. Oh my god. Pardon me, ladies. All right, I don't remember exactly what happens in this boss fight, but I know that these guys spawn, but that's not actually the witch. The witch is invisible in a corner, logically, right? And they usually teleport to the opposite side. No summoning, please. Thank you very much. That one's down, but there's usually a second one somewhere. Where is the second witch right now? Don't even think about getting back up. All right, witch number one is gonna respawn, but we'll work it out. Witch number two, where are you? Where'd you go? Aha, this is the original one. That one's dead again. The damage is too good. The witches can't compete. Oh, okay. One last TP. There we go. GG. Easy. Hardest boss in the game. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. That one definitely had me on the edge of my seat. Clenched up. Well, GG. Now I can go back. Now Shadows of Yarnum is next. Shadows and then Rom is the current order that we've got to go. Shadows of Yarnum were pretty easy on my first playthrough, but I don't honestly remember what they do all that well besides like cast fireballs and spawn a snake in the third phase. Let me make a quick trip down here. Oh, we kind of dodged that with the motion gesture though. Mm, I don't like this. Oh, this is getting hairy. It's getting hairy. All right, gun guy down here's got to go. Oh, hello. Dude, that is menacing. He's just standing there. Oh my. It's over for me. And this guy's better. All right then. This place kind of sucks. From what I remember, very not fond of this place. In fact, it's one of my least favorite areas in the game. It's large, it's confusing, the enemies are scary, there's snakes everywhere, and apparently there's dudes that throw oil too. All right, I know there's a log trap over there. 
not even concerned for a second. I was actually kind of scared, but I wouldn't tell you guys that. Oh, you stepped in the fire, dummy. Oh, now I'm in the fire. Oh, that wouldn't have killed me, would it? Oh my God. The jump scare was unreal. Yeah, imagine if I died to a gate. It'd be fitting along the trend of me. I'm kind of like a hamster, just having like the most horrific deaths possible. It's usually to gravity. It's like, it's not ever a normal death around here. Ah! I don't feel so good. What the fuck? This is why I don't like the forbidden woods. <laughs> I first started hissing back at the snakes. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? All right, Shadows of Yarnum time. This is pretty make or break. There's a summon I could use, but it might help me. Most people are saying summon, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. It'll give me a better chance. All right, let's get it done. I feel pretty powerful. Oof, big serpent. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't very hard. Summon just took aggro of one of them. He didn't really do that much, honestly. And I'm okay with that. GG. Light work, no reaction. That's right. Okay, well, we're gonna go to Rom now. Where's the bug at? I know there's a fly man somewhere around here. Hello? <laughs> okay, that's perfectly fine. They're not exactly hard. Although, if I fight more than one at once, then things could get dicey. Oh, yeah, speak of the devil. Bees in Oklahoma? Actually true. Not that I would know. I don't live in Oklahoma, but probably true. Oh, this guy takes no damage. I hate the brain suckers. Uh, okay, and he's giving me head. Let's stop that. Oh my god damn. Oh god, he's so good. These guys, I, I don't even want to fight him. He's so tanky for no reason. What are you protecting back here? We gotta stop meeting like this. Okay. All right, you're a very fun enemy to fight. Okay. Oh! I, anyway, I started blasting. What did I do? Man, can I have a parry? Just one. Really? I thought out of all of them, that was the one. Bro. Ooh. Okay. Why is this guy so tanky? Yippee! I feel like up to this point, nothing's been close to this tanky. Dude's very sturdy. Yep. There we go. That felt unnecessarily difficult, but we move on. Okay, um, if I remember correctly, my strategy for Rom last time was to kill all of the little guys first. All right. I'm a little scared, but I think if I have to, I can Hunter Mark out. I'm just scared of like catching a stray Comet from Rom because he can dish out huge damage if you get hit by those. I do one shot the babies, so that's good for me. Two shot some of them, and I'm fairly sure only a set number of these spawn. Like, don't quote me on that, but I think. Where'd Rom go? Oh, over there, okay. And of course, he's got a whole army of spider babies again. You know, not a problem, we'll just 
work our way from out in Rom's casting of meteors. Oh my god, wait, the babies do so much if I get hit. Very much want to avoid that. Okay, and that should be second phase more or less done. Oh my good lord, like that damage from one hit? Horrifying stuff here. That's enough meteor spam. It was a bit stressful, but the fight is over. GG. Oh my, I almost died from after death. What the hell was that? Imagine if I died after killing Rom. Oh, that fight was scary. Who's next? Who's the next main boss? Mikalash? Oh, I have to do the great one still. Or whatever it's called. The one reborn. Eh, not a big fan of that boss either. Not a big fan of this area either. This is where the game really gets a little spike in difficulty. I actually like Mikalash. I think it's funny. It's definitely funny. But if you're not careful, Mikalash can genuinely destroy you. And Henrik set has the best bolt resistance if you still have it. I do, in fact, have it, I believe. I do. 60, 150. Okay. Yep, yep. We'll definitely hold on to that. I can just beeline it straight to the boss now. There's witches in the fight that I need to kill up above first that cast fireballs. Aside from that, the boss doesn't do a whole lot. Weak to bolt. Can't say I have much of that. Still haven't fought Parl. Okay. Really? Okay. Come on. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Fuck you! <coughs> Holy! We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't like those uh, werewolves. Oh god. This thing might kill me. Best course of action is to just go away. Remember not really liking having the summon in this fight, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I am six vials down. Eh. Oh, this is the boss that makes the weird whispering noises. He's all That's exactly what they recorded in the studio, bro. Really? What the hell? I don't think I've ever been hit by the boss while up here. Kind of impressive. I don't remember if these witches respawn or not either. I don't think so. They do not? Okay, good. In that case, it's time to go get work done. If I remember correctly, you literally just have to hit him in the limbs until he's staggered. Pretty sure this is the tail. The head's over here. Can I have a visceral? Oh no, I just have to hit the head. That's right. You definitely have to fight the camera and this boss a bit. Okay, he should be down, and that's the fight. Can never tell which side's his front, man. Where's his head at? He looks the exact same on both sides. There it is. Jeez, uh, I forgot how loud that was. <laughs> rip headphone users for no reason gg gg we're getting there chat i'm definitely starting to feel like my damage is falling off not a great feeling when you're entering a new area i'm not quite sure what the solution is either getting more chunks would be good they summon this area most of my damage is in the viscerals can confidently say that i don't like this area what the hell These guys are scary. All right, slow and steady. Now there's yetis over here that throw rocks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm free of getting hit by madness in this area. Hello? That one over there has not aggroed, okay. As long as that remains the case, then we should be fine. The rocks are insta-death. Great! There's two of them right there, which makes me think that I should just try and run past. There's not a lantern in there, though. Is there? Is there a lantern at the door? Definitely gonna run past. Fast as fuck, boy! Still fast as fuck, boy! Let me in! Let me in! Thank you, iframes. Are you gonna drop down? What are you doing? Okay. Oh shit, what up? Aha. Go figure. They'd try to gank me. The spiders hurt a little bit. Mmm, I don't see why I couldn't beat this guy. 
Pretty sure I destroyed him last time. I think I'm parry spamming a bit too much though. He actually hurt a lot right there. Oh my! He's just a Chad Ludwig's Holy Blade user. It makes sense. Alright. Oh! Fancy seeing you here. I mean, that visceral damage is nice. My whole build is more or less reliant on just getting those viscerals in. Blades of Mercy, effective against Mikalash. Oh shit, we're at Mikalash. Okay. I'm not going in there yet. Seems like a great time to leave and come back. Okay, well first, if I'm gonna do Parl, then I'm gonna want Lightning Resistance. Mozzarella Ball's looking fashionable, dripping quite nicely. I'd have to agree. Get this man some fire paper. All right, it's Parl time. Eh, I might as well summon my good friend. No point in dying to an optional boss. I'm gonna walk in there, we've got a fire paper, beast blood pellet. Let's see, this should not be bad. Then again, it's Parl we're talking about here. A fairly annoying boss, where you have to fight the camera as much as you have to fight the boss itself. Never mind, that was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, okay, to be fair. Damage was pretty high. I was tripping for nothing. Glad that's over. Time to buy more levels. Wow, almost 100k blood echoes. Not bad at all. Get that health bar nice and big. Bolt paper, thank you. Time to put on arcane resist. My physical defense is slightly lower. Actually lower by like 70, but ugh. We'll get her done. We'll get her done. Let's see what happens, I suppose. Cause. Or some say cause them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Run straight ahead. Okay. The ads are not fun to deal with. You gotta love the Abritus spam. Even in a dream. He's not my favorite boss, but he's definitely quotable. Mikalash moaning in my ear, classic. All right, let's go on a jog, buddy. To the mirror, there you go. He's a weird one. Ooh! I get it, Mikalash, I really do. There you are. He's kind of stuck. Bro, could you stop jumping around? I swear to God. This fight is so bad. You can't go to your mirror now, buddy boy. There. Whew. GG. Didn't even let him use his stupid arcane attack. Okay. Every time I do a boss, terrifying. Really gets the heart racing in these zero death runs. All I have left now, technically, to beat the game is Murgo's Wet Nurse and Garman. I don't even have to do Garman. The run's more or less over after Murgo's Wet Nurse right here. What is Murgo's Wet Nurse week two? Probably Lightning. I think it's a kin enemy again. All right then. Come on, pig! Oh my. Ah! Uh. Get out, get out, get out, get out! Fucking pigs, dude. They're so fast and they're huge. And I almost got frenzy build up too. Looking at it now, I didn't even notice that. They're so fast! Get off of me! Holy hell. Everybody stay calm. Stay calm! We're fine. We're perfectly fine. Nothing happened. That was very close to ending the run. There's no summons for this fight, correct? I don't believe so. Okay.
That should do it. That should do it. Whew. GG. Very nice. All right. Technically a deathless now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, actually, we got to celebrate. That's technically a deathless. Have I done DLC bosses? No. Have I fought Garman? No. But, like, I could end the game right now and say GG. So, we got it. I didn't even think about that. I, like, I was too distracted on the boss to be, like, thinking about the fact that we got it. <laughs> and that's a true deathless run, too. No technicality gravity shit like Liza P. Nah, I haven't died. Whew. We've come far. Only 10 attempts, too. And like four of those, no, like six of those deaths were in the very first area. Now that I had officially beaten the game Deathless, the only thing left to do was to go and try and beat Garman. Let's just say that this was a stretch goal since the game was technically already beaten. I'll let you see how it went. Garman is a beast in and of himself, so we'll see how this goes. Could you do a normal attack? Thank you. Can't tell if my damage is low or if the boss's health is high. What kind of wombo combo? What's he doing? Whoa, what the? Well, that's the end of the run. We made it all the way to the end. I mean, did I technically beat the game Deathless? Yes, because I could have just said no to Garman and not died, but edit the other ending into the video. <laughs>